Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. All right, let's take a peek what's happening outside for the rest of this afternoon, or most of the afternoon, I should say. We've seen a pretty quiet one out there. Some uh, light snow showers up in the mountains, about uh, four to five inches of snow as you get above both the Willamette and Santiam passes in the uh, chain up areas, and uh, about uh, eight to ten inches up in Mount Hood, our own. Uh, uh, Eric Elkin showing us uh, some uh, pretty great conditions up there. But as we go overnight tonight, things pretty much quieting down as we'll be in between systems, at least for about the next 24 hours. And what does that mean? Well, that doesn't necessarily mean that we clear all the clouds out. We've got another Sunday afternoon, but it does mean that we won't necessarily be looking at sort of the quick hits that we've been seeing over the past couple of hours. But still some impressive uh, snow totals the last 24 hours. Mount Hood up at Meadows got 10 inches. Bachelor and Santiam Pass picked up about five. Well, I'm at Pass on top of uh, Odell Lake there, about four inches. And at Hoodoo, they've been reporting about three and a half inches of snow. So a nice little quick hitter, but still did uh, dump a little bit. And again, you should expect up towards Highway 20, they've got a little more packed down snow. Uh, the Lemon Pass right now looking good, but both those temperatures well below freezing. And so still need the chains because it will likely be a little slippery, especially overnight tonight and the early morning hours. So a little bit of change over again across Highway 20 as we've got another batch of showers pushing through. Otherwise, we've got some up around Mary's Peak trying to switch over to snow real quick, kind of a slushy snow. So a lot of that's not going to be the real powdery stuff. And some breaks in the clouds here in the valley has got us down into the upper 30s. So I'm expecting a quick return down into the mid 30s tonight. It's going to be a bit of a chilly one early tomorrow for your Tuesday morning commute, but drier certainly than what we saw today. Now highs up to around 50 degrees up and down the I-5 today. Upper 40s as you get out to the coast, as you might expect. Cooler back off to the east of us around 37 in John Day and 41 in Ontario. And overnight tonight, we'll go light winds. We'll see some breaks in the clouds. That'll get the fog going here in the valleys down the Umpqua. And even out at the coast to a degree, putting everybody down into the low 30s. So there's our little bubble of high pressure for Tuesday's forecast that should hold off this next cold front. And because the low itself is actually coiling back up and towards the Gulf of Alaska, it's going to pull most of this with it. And this little purple part here is what we call the occlusion. And that's basically where the warm and cold front have kind of collapsed in on each other. And that will help deflect a lot of this activity or a lot of the energy back off to the north of us. So the combination of those two, high pressure law for the drier air and that front being stretched out will basically blow this thing up as it moves its way across. So I'm still expecting a chance for maybe an isolated early shower early, early Wednesday. That's about all we'll see with that. So tomorrow we'll keep the sun breaks around and dry overall. A couple of weaker chances, slightly stronger one coming behind that front off for Thursday. But as we head in towards the weekend, we've got a nice ridge building in again, and we will be bringing in some warmer air. So possibly starting March off with the almost late March or early April spring-like temperatures. We'll have to see. So partly sunny at the coast. Temperatures at the coast will remain in the 50s, and we'll keep some sunshine around for Friday's forecast. Partly sunny in the Umpqua tomorrow. Temperatures around 49 in Elkton, up to around 52 down in Myrtle Creek. Mid-50s with the best chance for rain showers coming on Thursday, and then again early Sunday. But look at Friday and Saturday with low 60s. I'll take that. Partly sunny skies to the Cascades. Temperatures there sitting at or just below freezing. Freezing levels around 4,000 feet. Mostly sunny in Bend and Redmond, mid 40s. Then getting up into the mid 50s and sunny for Friday and Saturday for folks in Central Oregon and here in the Valley. Partly sunny with highs around 49 to 50 tomorrow. Then slowly creeping back up that ladder into the upper 50s. And as I mentioned at 5 o'clock, if we do get the uh, morning fog to break quicker on Friday, then kind of I'm going conservative here. We may push that 58 closer to 60, 61 in some spots. Computers say it can happen, but you know what happens with the fog here? That's kind of the great equalizer. So we're kind of taking middle ground right now. But either way, nice to see that back. Fingers crossed it breaks. Oh, absolutely. Thanks, Justin. You bet. The 85th Annual Academy Awards.